What if gravity could act like a telescope, magnifying the universe for us? In general relativity, mass curves space-time, and light follows those curves. When a massive object, galaxy or cluster, sits between us and something farther away, its gravity deflects the light. The result is gravitational lensing, multiple images, stretched arcs, or even near-perfect Einstein rings when the alignment is right. There are three main regimes, strong lensing, dramatic arcs, or multiple images, great for measuring mass in galaxy clusters and for time delay cosmography. Weak lensing, tiny statistical shape distortions across millions of background galaxies, used to map dark matter and test cosmic structure growth. Microlensing, brief brightening when a star or compact object lenses a background star, useful for detecting exoplanets and dark compact objects. The deflection of starlight by the sun was a classic 1919 test of relativity. Today, space surveys use the same physics at cosmic scales. Lensing lets us weigh what we can't see. By comparing visible matter to total mass from lensing, we map dark matter directly. Time delays between multiple images of a flickering quasar help constrain the Hubble constant. And cluster cosmic telescopes reveal galaxies from the early universe that would otherwise be too faint. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe and comment below what you found most fascinating in this video.